this video, I'm going to talk about Polymorphic Lookup Manager, one of the tools available within the XRM toolbox. Polymorphic Lookup Manager tool basically allows you to create polymorphic lookup. Now, if you do not know polymorphic lookup, polymorphic lookup are the lookups. Basically, it allows you to create a column which will point to multiple tables. Now, by default in the Makeup portal, if you want to create a lookup column, you will select a lookup type data type. If you want to use multiple table pointers, then out of the box, there is only one data type, which is available out of the box called as customer data type, which will point to an account or a contact table. But if you want to implement a polymorphic lookup pointing to multiple tables apart from accounts and contact, there is no way in the UI through which you can create that. You may need to refer to the code approach or use a web API to implement the functionality. Polymorphic lookup manager tool basically allows you to create polymorphic lookup on the fly using UI. Now, what are the capabilities exhibited by this tool is it will allow you to create a polymorphic lookup. It will allow you to edit a polymorphic lookup. Now, the purpose of editing is like if you um, say created a lookup for five tables and tomorrow if you decide that you want to create a polymorphic lookup for just three tables or maybe seven tables, you can go ahead and edit it. You can even define the lookup details, including the schema name. You can delete polymorphic lookup. Now, this polymorphic lookup manager is basically created by MSCRM tools. So thanks team for creating polymorphic lookup manager tool. Uh, this is really helping all of the developer who are using Dynamics 365 or Power Platform related solutions. This is how the screen looks like for polymorphic lookup manager. Now, as you see in the screen, there is a section for solution. There is a section for referencing table. There is a section for attribute, lookup display name, lookup schema name and the reference table and the relation associated relationship info. Now let's jump into the demo. So first thing, what I'm going to do, I will be showing you uh, how, what does a polymorphic lookup mean? So if you see over here, this is a product, uh, this is a model driven app. This is basically customer service dynamics 365 hub, but it can be implemented as a simple model driven app. Now this product table is pointing to one table. So it is just pointed to a product table. So if you go into the advanced lookup, this is pointing to a product table. I can select a product from here. Then there is an, another column, which is a customer table, customer column. It is pointed to either accounts or contacts. And if I want to select either accounts, I can select account. If I want to either select contacts, I can select contacts from here. Now, there is an another uh, column in appointment table called as required. Now, if you see this required column or an optional column, it is pointing to six types of record. If I go to advanced lookup, I can see that this record is this column is pointing to six different types of record. Currently, there are seven different types of table. How do you create that? For that, we are going to use XRM toolbox. Why we want to use XRM toolbox? Because by default, when you create a new column, there is no way through which in the UI, through which you can create a lookup. I can create a lookup pointing to one table. I can create a customer data type pointing to only accounts and contact, but there is no custom lookup whereby I can point it to multiple tables at once. So for that, what you need to do, you need to first, let's create a solution, okay? so. I'm in this Kirish preview US environment. I'll go to solutions and then I'll create a new solution and I'll call it as poly lookup August 2024. I'll select a publisher. I'll click on create. So I'm creating a solution. So first thing what you need to do, you need to have a solution. Then you need to open XRM toolbox. So I'll open XRM toolbox. And within XRM toolbox, if the polymorphic lookup manager is not installed, then you need to go and install it from XRM toolbox library. I have already installed it and I've connected it to an environment. So I'll go to polymorphic lookup manager and it will connect me to my environment. So this is the first step you need to do. In polymorphic lookup manager, here you will see a section called a solution, referencing table, attribute, lookup display name, lookup schema name, reference tables. Now, 
let's go one by one first thing solution now if you want to create a polymorphic lookup you need to have some sort of a solution created now we have created solution ahead of time so if i select here i can see all the listed solution for this specific environment okay so we have created this solution called as poly lookup awk 2024 and i'll select this once you create this you need to specify which table are you using to create that polymorphic lookup now you need to have some sort of a table defined now in my example i have uh, let me show you make dot make a dot make a portal so here if i go to back to solutions click on table i have a lot of custom tables created so let's pick up any one table so take for example i pick up table called as minerals okay so let's create a polymorphic lookup for this mineral table and go to the xrm toolbox and i'll select the referencing table as mineral so i'll just type m now if i type m i will not see anything right now why because this is a custom table so it the name does not start with uh it's not a basically a display name right so for that what you need to do you need to search it by using the the prefix okay so if you see this this is a prefix cr1pf underscore mineral so this is the right table so i'll select this table now what is the attribute i want okay now i can select on this existing attribute like owning team owning user owning business unit modified by but i will not touch any other attribute but i'll create a new polymorphic lookup so this is the first option i'll select lookup display name i will just say uh, agency okay so this is just i've just put up the lookup display name as agency and it has automatically put the schema name glt underscore agency id now glt underscore is coming from the solution okay so from the solution is pointing to a publisher and then the publisher prefix is glt underscore now we have created a column this is a polymorphic lookup column called as agency so let me call this as poly agency just for understanding purpose so this is a polymorphic lookup but it is pointing to which table so here you will see a whole bunch of lists so what i'll do i will just first type in account so i will select account then i'll say this will point to contact let me point it to contact then i'll say it is pointing to uh, say common uh, comment and then i will point this to I, i'm just picking up a random table over here it doesn't make really doesn't make sense but then uh, you will understand what i'm doing over here so i'll select cities i'll select commonwealth nation i'll select inventory i'll select minerals and i'll select olympics uh, i can't select minerals because uh, that will uh, not work so i'll just remove minerals because this is the same table which you can't cannot have a self-referencing table so i have cities i have commonwealth nation i have inventory i have olympics now what i've done i've selected all this table now if i select just one table inventory you can see all the details listed over here right this is a schema name what is the cascade behavior this is a parental what is the display order what is the display zone uh, so all this information is presented over here now if i select an another table say commonwealth nation then it will show you the schema name as well so you can go ahead and change those values right so in cascade behavior you have parental referential referential restricted so what essentially we are doing is we have created a multi lookup from a mineral table okay so this is a mineral table and it is pointing to different different tables okay it is pointing to different as a lookup so the different tables are comment account contacts cities commonwealth nations and so many tables okay so i can pick up whatever table i want now once these all things are done I will just go ahead and save it now just for simplicity purpose i'll remove all those uh, selection account contacts uh, all those things which i have selected so let me just uh, put account uh, cities commonwealth nations inventory and maybe olympics okay once that is done what i'll do i'll click on create polymorphic lookup now this will create a polymorphic this will create a polymorphic lookup now what it says it cannot create relationship that result in a cycle now why this uh, issue has come because it is showing me that this particular table like olympics minerals anything which you have selected it cannot be done okay because we have already selected that right so what i'm gonna do 
I will just click on OK and let's see what does the system do. So let's go back into our solution and go to Poly Lookup Op 2024 and let me refresh this. Let's see if it has done anything in the backend. Now, the system has thrown us an error. Now, I, what I've done is like I've purposefully selected minerals, okay? And that's why it has remembered that setting, okay? Now, again, what I will do, I will not select any complex tables over here, okay? So just to start again, what I'm gonna do is I will select the referencing table as minerals. I will select, I'll create a new polymorphic lookup and then I will put whatever display name I want and I will select the column name, okay? So let me put a display name as poly minerals agency. And I will select account. I will select inventory. I will select cities. I will select Commonwealth nation. Now I'll select four tables. I will not select minerals, okay? Because earlier I selected minerals and it has given me that self-referencing error. Let me create polymorphic lookup now. Now this time it is trying to create a polymorphic lookup. Now it hasn't remembered the selection because as I mentioned to you, if you select the same table, the referencing table and the reference table, it will not allow you to create. Now this time it has allowed me to create it. So polymorphic lookup has been created and added to the solution. Now let's go into the solution. It will load the metadata. And if you just refresh the page, then the list should show up. Yes, now as you see over here, it has already added this. So what it has done, it has added the reference table and the referencing table. So this is a reference table and these are the referencing table. Now, remember one thing, like it will not add those relationships. So if you go over here, if you select this three dot, go to advance and click on add required objects and click on OK, then it will add any required objects into the solution. Now, as you see over here, it has added one more table because sometimes the referencing will not have uh, all the tables added into the system. So it is an important step before you make the solution migrate to a different environment. Now, let's look into what, what this thing has done. Okay. So Minerals, if I go into the minerals table, which is a primary table through which we have done the referencing, if I go into the relationship, and if I go into this name, Poly Minerals Agency, now this is, remember, this is the same name which we have added over here, right? So this is that relationship name. So just me, let me just type Poly Minerals Agency. Now, what it has done with this four relationship, it has created that four relationship against the related table. Okay, so it has put that name accordingly and it is showing me, it is pointing to this related table and it has established a managed to one relationship. So what we have done, we have created a polymorphic lookup pointing to four different tables. Now, if you go into the tables over here, minerals, and if you go into the columns and let's go into this, uh, the column which we have created. So we have created a polymorphic lookup column. So it is called as polyminerals agency. It is of type lookup. But now if you go into polyminerals agency and go into the advanced option, it will show you this relationship name, right? Now this should show me all the four tables through which I am referencing, but it is not showing in the UI. So that means in the UI, you will not be able to see all the relationship. It is only showing me that it is related to just one table, but that is not correct, right? It is a partial information, but we know that this lookup is not only pointing to account, but it is pointing to four different other tables. So this things you need to take care of. Now, let me go back to the application. So if I go into the applications and let me see if I have a mineral app. Yes, I have a mineral app and this is how the mineral app will look like. It's a simple model driven app which I've created ahead of time. It will just have calcium, gold and silver as a mineral. If I click on new, then it will have minerals and owners. Now, the things which we have edited, I'll just edit the model driven app 
and now i'm going to add that lookup table okay uh, so the, the lookup control so if i go into any form so I, i'm inside this mental form So it is pointing to an active mineral view. And if I go inside this form, I can see that there are only two columns and one grid. For that, what I need to do, I need to go into the table, the mineral table. So let me go into the mineral table, which is a custom table. And I'll go into the forms and I'll edit the information form which is of type main. Now here, I should be able to see the take column which I've created, polyminerals agency. So what I'm gonna do, I'll just add this over here. Okay, and I'll click save and publish. And it might take a while for the changes to appear. So let me again refresh. Yes, now I can see the lookup column has been added. Now if I click on the records, look for records and press enter, then it will show me four types of record. Now if I click on four types of record, it will show me it is pointing to accounts, cities, commonwealth nations, inventories. Let me go into the table over here, cities, commonwealth nations, inventory and accounts right so these are the four column four tables which i'm referring to now if you want to see in a more detailed view you can go into the advanced lookup and you can pick up whatever items you want so if i select one of the commonwealth nations or i can select inventory or i can select cities or i can select accounts right so if i go to one of the city i'll just select one of the commonwealth nations i'll click on done and then this will get selected so this is how you basically use polymorphic lookup using XRM toolbox to point to multiple tables. Thanks for watching.